Okay, so maybe I need to clarify what I'm saying here. What are you saying? I'm trying to say that... You wish Nintendo would make mature games. Yeah. I mean, like, at least start some more franchises. That start are... by buying Bayonetta. Yeah. That's a good direction. I did notice that. I was like, see, here's the thing. Nintendo does do mature game every once in a while. Like, I remember playing Eternal Darkness, which is still one of the best horror games ever, but it didn't sell very well, and neither did the Resident Evil One remake, which I that, that's the attack I saw, the super fire attack. Wow. Anyway, and I can understand why the first Resident Evil didn't sell, well, even though it was a remake. Fire. I think the biggest mistake was like, oh, they're. Capcom wanted to remake all the Resident Evils on GameCube, but one didn't sell too well, so they didn't do... They didn't remake two or three. They just upgraded <coughs> a bit. But there are mature games that Nintendo finances, and then people don't buy it. Mm. Well, usually people buy the Wii U as a family console. I mean, it's See, not but like, it, people think Nintendo and think family-friendly, right? And so that's what sells. I don't think those games that we played back on the Nintendo, the original Nintendo, were meant to be family friendly. Not all of them, at least. They were... Are you talking about, like, the difficulty? Well, yeah, the difficulty. Well, that's I'm talking about the content, too. The content? Yeah. Like what? Um, well, I know it's difficult to, to show blood, guts, and gore, but there was things like... Oh, what was the ninja one? Ninja Gaiden? Yeah, Ninja Gaiden, and, um... So there were some mature games, most of the And games. Samus, or, or, or uh, Metroid, really felt like it had some atmosphere to it. Some, and it did. And yeah, some great the atmosphere. Metroid games today still have atmosphere. Yeah, which is nice. They've kept that, but... and But we don't see very many of those. Like, we'll see a whole lot more of Mario and Link, where there's no... Blood, That's because it doesn't sell. Cool. You want to know what sells? Mario sells. See, I feel like a lot about what you're complaining is because Nintendo does try those things, but it doesn't sell. Yeah, that's true, Jacob. I mean, it's it's the intent. I mean, People look, you, you, you like the atmosphere of Metroid. Console. I don't see a single Metroid game over here. You probably have Super Metroid up here, I know for sure. Yeah, plus there's But you Metroid, didn't have, you don't have any of the... Game Boy Advance right there, too. The one you just bought. Yeah. You didn't buy it when it came out. No, I didn't. I, and you didn't buy the Prime games, which are fantastic, and... I can understand if you didn't buy it around. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like, you're like, oh, I want them to do this, and then they do that, and, like, hardly where, anyone where, buys it. Where is your copy of Bayonetta? I don't have Bayonetta. Well, exactly. Well, you should buy a co well. You should buy a copy for the Wii U version because that's what Nintendo makes money off of. Well, that's what I mean. Is like they do what you're asking them to do, but then you don't buy it. Well, and you do have Super Mario Galaxy. You do have Twilight Princess. So <laughs> you're complaining about Nintendo not doing something but when they do do that thing you want them to do. You don't buy the game, and you do buy the things that that you don't want them to do. Or want them to do less of. You have Twilight Princess. You haven't finished it. No, I haven't. Why do you have it? I bought it on sale. Back you bought it on, the... and you so you will buy stuff on sale. I know for a fact that Bayonetta was on sale. I know Metroid Prime games are on sale because I bought those on sale. You don't have those. Is Bayonetta really going to be that? F All right, fine. For I for will... the okay, we'll 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 ignore Bayonetta. It just came out for the Wii U, but the Prime games not here. For the GameCube? Or GameCube, and there was Metroid Prime 3. You could buy the Metroid Prime Trilogy. All three games on the Wii. It's not over here. That's one of the things I actually really need to buy, and it's expensive. Three Metroid Prime games, one Wii disc. You don't have that. Okay, then I guess I should definitely get that. You should be not hypocritical. No, look at it. Like, okay. Do you really think Nintendo is doing great... And they probably want to do better, right? Not with the Wii U, at least. 3DS, yes. Yeah, see, there are a lot more games for the Wii... Or for the 3DS. Because it's either 3DS or the Vita. And let's face it, Sony doesn't care about the Vita. I actually really want to get the Vita. But... I love my Vita. But I, like, if, when people... Like, go to any Vita board. And, like, the biggest complaint about the Vita was Sony just doesn't care about it. 
Yeah. I would know. I, I remember watching Tokyo Game Show, like, oh, there's going to be something big for the Vita, and they said that at E3, and there was, like, Minecraft. I'm like, uh, we know that. We, Do you where's the big thing? that Nintendo maybe has turned their market just towards handhelds? No, they no. definitely care about consoles. They definitely do. Ah, oh, dude, like, look at what we're playing. I know. Well, I see that, and don't get me wrong, looks like a lot of It fun. definitely, the 3DS definitely makes them more money. It makes sense why you would focus, because it's still a business. No, I understand that it's this a This isn't business, a charity, Jake. But, uh, this is the business of entertainment, so... So, naturally, you'd want to make money so you can keep entertaining people. No, you naturally, you'd want to make content that people actually care about and want to buy. Uh, no, it's a business. Okay. If they want money. Yeah, but... You make content that people want to buy, and you know what people want to buy by what sells. Oh, and stupid Nintendo and Link... And so what's selling? Mario it, and Link sell. They, Mario sells really well. Link's okay. Legend of Zelda is actually not... I know it's big amongst Nintendo's really hardcore crowd, but it's actually not one of their more popular. Really? Yeah. Go to VG Charts, open it up, just minimize that. Go to VG Charts, check out the Wii, and look <coughs> up what the first Zelda game is. VG Charts. VG Charts, VG Charts. And we're looking for the top selling Wii games. Wii games. Uh, or it should be like a database up at the top. GB Game DB database. Game database. Uh, find the Wii platforms. Wii U. No, just for the Wii. All platforms. Wii Nintendo's most successful console. What? Wii. Okay, Nintendo's most successful console. Yeah, in, in the amount that it sold. Let's check out how, what place the Zelda game is in. The whichever Zelda doesn't matter. Whatever Zelda game is on the Wii, doesn't matter if it's fine. Zelda. Okay. What's Twilight the Princess? How much did it sell? It sold. That was a launch title, by the way. That was there since the beginning. Um, in America, three point six nine. How many did it sell total? Because we're a global market. We don't. Nintendo doesn't care just about America. Cares about everything. Seven. Seven million. Yeah, it looks like it's 7 million. And that's probably like one of the best selling Zelda games. Uh, Check out Galaxy. Now, where's Mario Galaxy on that list? Mario In fact, you know what? Galaxy. Read all the titles up until you get to Zelda. <sighs> yeah, but the top one is so disappointing. Wii and Sports. It just proved... We can ignore Wii Sports because it came with the system everywhere except for Japan. Okay. But so keep reading and you'll see... Mario Kart Wii. Okay. <laughs> And then Wii Sports Resort. Uh-huh. Okay, that one actually had to sell by itself. We Play. Uh, that, that, that was probably because it came with a controller and people couldn't find another controller. <laughs> okay, the but, new Super Mario Bros. Wii mm -hmm. and Mario Kart are like mm -hmm. their top ones. Then <laughs> Wii Fit, Wii Plus, Wii Fit Plus, Super Mario, <coughs> or Super, or sorry, Smash Bros. Brawl, mm -hmm. and then Super Mario Galaxy. Keep going, I know there's more. Oh, this is just terrible, though. See? Just Dance 3, Just mm. Dance 2, <laughs> Wii Party, Mario Party, Sonic, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Oh my gosh. Super Mario Galaxy 2, there we go. Just Keep Dance. Keep in mind, none of the, the only launch title out of all those is Wii Sports. The first one at the very top. And finally... After Just Dance, we have The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Okay. What now, is where's the next Zelda game on that list? Skyward Sword came out at the very end. The coup de gras of the Wii. They really tried to make her look better, but they made her look worse. <laughs> yeah. <I thought. laughs> Everybody you can't even blame graphics on that way. Everybody remembers that fairy. I remember that. <laughs> White boner, no. Alright, where, where's Skyward Sword on that list? Uh, Finally, a Zelda game using the Wii Remote Plus. What everyone <laughs> wanted. It is number 29. It is... Uh, and the first Zelda was 17, so... And what's between the first and second Zelda? Oh, Just Dance 4. Zumba Fitness. <laughs> Skyward Sword got beat out by Zumba Fitness. I give up. 
It's basically just a console for house moms now. At least that's what the Wii was. You can look up the GameCube. That'll probably be more what... Okay, the GameCube. Look up the GameCube, because that's the one you held up. like, oh, GameCube, not like the 64. Wait, what do you mean not like the 64? You like the you said the GameCube, they went downhill compared to Super Nintendo 64. I do feel like they went Look downhill. at the GameCube and see what was selling when the GameCube came out. Uh, okay, GameCube, Super Ma Smash Bros. Melee, mm -hmm. Double Dash, Mario Kart Double Dash, Super Mario Sunshine, Wind Waker. There you go. And Luigi's Mansion. See, this, this, these are games. But, okay. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle? I don't even know. Oh, dude, I love yeah. that game. That was a great game. That came out. Pokemon Coliseum. So essentially what we get is the exact same list we got with the Wii, just without the Wii Sports Wii, blah, 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 blah. And the dance. So what you're seeing is... Mario Cells. Mario really sells. Mario Cells, Smash Cells, Mario Cells. Yeah, Cells. but we're, we're seeing the same thing over and over. Okay, no, you, have to read the the, same... you have to read the same, like, how much it sells. Because while it... Like that, like while Twilight Princess did come in number seventeen, it sold seven million compared to like the but 10 now and twelve and fourteen million. But now million you're talking of the about like games. the growth of video games in general. Like the, over time, of course they're going to sell more because more and more people are getting into them. In the beginning, they had not the greatest but, market because not many people played video games. Right. Okay. So, like, yeah, as you go on, it's going to sell more, but comparatively speaking, like, I don't even know the point we're trying to make here I'm anymore. Not sure what, the point you're, what the point I'm trying to make is, Zelda doesn't sell as well as you would hope. It's true, it doesn't. And the games you are asking for don't sell at all, but what does sell are Smash, Kart, Mario. So what? Does... Like, I'd even ask you to read the sale numbers, which if you go back to the Wii, you're going to see a huge discrepancy. Uh, Just not not even counting Wii Sports, which is like 70, 80 million or something. And on the top of all of this, the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation outsold everyone? Nah, PS1 was at like 100 and something million. PS2 is at 150 million. The DS is also up there. Okay, where's the GameCube again? GameCube, GameCube. Uh, that's gonna be down there. 2200, 2300 million. No, GameCube. 23, 22 million. 22. Games made for the GameCube. 673. Games made for the PlayStation 2. 3549. That's only games in their database, though. I know the PS2 had like 7,000 games on it. Wow. All right, then also we have, uh, I want to look at the 64, Nintendo 64, only had 395 games for it, the PlayStation had 2,680. So the weird part is, you thought the 64 had more games than the GameCube, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Okay, fine, the GameCube had more games, but they still had, it feels like, very little compared to the other That's because it was just... Nintendo versus Sony. Yeah. There were two spots. There's only spots on the shelves for those two. As and opposed to also Microsoft. So, the whole idea here is, for me... You least, think that... Okay, we're going to Nintendo gonna should be top dog. They Why should they be top dog? Why should anyone because, be top dog? Okay, Because they did... Uh, Nintendo has made some poor business practices, in my opinion. All right? But it should be top dog because because thesis. if they had done business, their business practices correctly, I think they would have kept the market that they had with everybody, like their hardcore market. Their uh, like so, if they had done things right, they could have had both the kids <laughs> and all of the people who had been with them for so this long. This is the most retarded thing I've ever heard you say. Nintendo deserves to be number one because if it didn't make the mistakes no, no, it, it made, doesn't it would no, have been no, number one. No, I'm not Everyone saying it been. deserves to be number one. It I'm should be. It, they should have. They should have number one. They should have, but they just did. I think they made some really you poor decisions. should really take like a history of technology class because you're going to find this is a story over and over and over again. What? They that did. someone was number one they didn't innovate, or they, like, for some reason, they screwed up something. 
Like, I remember growing up, I'm a big writer, WordPerfect was the number one writing software. And they rested on the laurels, they didn't improve, they didn't do anything, and now Microsoft Word is number one. That's not because it comes with the thing, it's just because that's what it is. Because before Microsoft Word, it was Notepad, that's what it is. Same thing, Yahoo, number one search engine. Google people, they wanted to sell their um, algorithm to Yahoo. Yahoo didn't want it, so they went and made their own. They're number one. So basically, it keeps happening over and over. People yes. have, you know, good ideas, they do very well, and then they just screw it all up with what they do. Right. It happens, same thing happened with Sony. You're like, PS1 popular, PS2 popular. Then they came and assumed, oh, PS3 is going to be popping no matter what we do, let's do whatever we want. Took a risk, it did not pay off very well in the beginning. Eventually they got their act together. Mm -hmm. I think So you need to innovate, but at the same time that innovation can kill you. Sony remembered, oh, the DVD helped us sell PS2s, Blu-ray will probably help us sell PS6. <laughs> <laughs> that just makes me laugh hearing it out loud Nintendo's like okay well we need CDs N64 didn't have CDs we failed because we have CDs okay that didn't work and let's not follow everyone out this late let's create our own lead let's create something different we created the Wii Wii remote oh yes something different alright Wii U we're gonna create something different let's create I know let's get a pad in people's hands a pad in people's hands it's, it's different definitely you know what Sometimes you make some bad ideas, you throw it all away. Yeah, but the thing is, Nintendo hasn't thrown it all away. They haven't turned around and said, hey, I figured out... They're what lucky in that they have that hardcore faithful, and they have the games that have that reputation that I don't think they could fail. Yeah. <laughs> you have a market to fall back on, I know. Nintendo. They have Every a lot of money to fall time. back on, no matter what. Even if, like, the rest of their systems have from now for, like, the next 50 years, they'll be fine. Oh, that's just sad. It's sad that that's how businesses work? No, it's just... I mean, you have to innovate because you can't rest on your laurels because that means someone else is going to come or come around and take it from you. But at the same time, you need to have the right innovation or people will abandon you. But Nintendo's... Uh, people have somewhat abandoned Nintendo. I know I have. I haven't bought. Like, after the Wii, I was like, mm, no. You're not going to buy a Wii U? No, I'm not going to buy a Wii U. Why not? Because look at how much I use the Wii! How do you know you won't use the Wii U more? It's got a more traditional game pack. It's got your Zelda. Mm, I would say it's Mario. my Zelda. I really liked... Like, there's a couple Zeldas that I really loved, and I probably need to try out a few other ones to see if I love them as much, but The Wind Waker and Super Nintendo Zelda. Mm -hmm. See, you say that, and then I mentioned A Link Between Worlds on the 3DS. You're I know, I, I haven't have played it. it yet. I need to. Okay, I So agree. you can say you love a game, but if you have one you haven't played yet, do you really love it? <laughs> How much do you really love? Link and... See, Zelda. I really like the Persona series. I played Persona 3, I loved it, and then Persona 4 came out, and I was busy at the time, but I bought it. I didn't you know, my PS2 wouldn't read it. Maybe so I bought a Vita yeah, for Persona L 4 do, Gold, because everyone said it's... What's L do? I think it's got a big L above its head, like it was. lock on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, sit, continue with what you were saying. What was I saying about Persona? Hey, you love I, I bought a Vita just for Persona 4 Golden. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't regret it. That was Persona 4 Golden's great. But you won't seem to buy a 3DS for your precious Zelda. Well, one of the biggest reasons I'm not buying anything right now is because I'm trying to save. But all that saving doesn't really? go well. Really? You're trying to save? For yeah. What? For a house. And what did you buy your wife again? Hey, it's Christmas. How much did that... <laughs> I'm lucky to get something that's like $50 for Christmas. I don't know about you, but 
I really like celebrating Christmas. I really like to you buy need gifts to spend for people. A bunch of money to celebrate Christmas. It's true you don't, but you know I haven't seen my wife in a while, and it, it would definitely and be good if I brought. If you brought something expensive, I don't think it. I think she'd be happy just to see you. Well, she will be extremely. happy I don't think just you needed to, to buy something me. that was five hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, so listen. Phil has a great point. He does have a great point, but. If, if I had a wife, she's like, I, I bought you this five hundred dollar thing. I'm like, take it back. What are you? What are you crazy? Five hundred bucks. Unless it's a top quality hooker, I want it. Well, it, <laughs> it is also something for work for her. I guess that makes sense. It, he just keeps closing his eyes. I can't figure out how to. Maybe you're super once you get close enough to him. Yeah, let's try that. Do you have any Deku nights? These Deku, he just because it's oh, you Gohan. Oh, got underneath him! Yay! No, well, he's just gonna keep doing that, isn't he? Did he just retreat again? No, oh, he went to attack the Deku tree. He keeps switching back and forth from the Deku tree and whatnot. What that do? That's his super. He's not supposed to be using. It. Well, that's that you have. There's two different supers. I have the bow. Uh -huh. I think maybe I can switch to bomb. There okay. we go, bomb. I just know that in the 64 version, you can use a slingshot or you can use a deck net. I don't know why you guys call it DQ. If it's Japanese, it's deck. Is that doing damage to him? I don't think no, so. I don't think, think so. so. Did he just kill me? No, he just won. He forces have fallen. Dang it. Or no, no, maybe not. Maybe not. We couldn't save the Deku Tree. Deku Tree is down for. Yeah, I died. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> he Sorry. destroyed the Deku Tree. He was at such low life. And you just couldn't get through that shield. Yeah, for some reason. Even if you shot in the butt, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. He's got fast reactions. He likes, he, can, to, he, can teleport. he likes to protect his anus. <laughs> Anyways. So Nintendo... I like how we spent like almost an hour talking about <laughs> Nintendo. Well, they just screwed up so much and you just want to kick them for it. And you're just like, Why? Nintendo, we had such love for you. You were Why so great. Why do you care so much? Because it, I, they raised me. He's too emotionally attached to it. Yeah, I know. I'm a Nintendo fanboy. Maybe the problem is Nintendo. What? Maybe the problem is you being attached. Maybe I should just let it go and go to yeah. all those other you consoles. Watch Frozen and listen to that song called Let It Go. I need to go. You He's need to go. go. I do need to go. Well, thanks for watching Two Stupid Gamers. With it's Hiram. Dan and Phil and Hiram and not Dan. I don't know why. He, he, he puts Dan before me even when Dan's not here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have fun. I'll talk to you later.